Hey everybody, welcome back, and we are jumping into turn two of our playthrough of Sixth Fleet from Victory Games, scenario number five, Age and Offense, and Soviets took kind of a early lead last uh, last turn, they managed to uh, knock out a couple of American frigates, the, uh, the Stark and the Thatch. Um, Normally, uh, Perry class frigates are really good at uh, anti-submarine warfare, except for when uh, they're unsupported and two Soviet submarines are hunting them. Uh, U.S. kind of only managed to damage a couple of the Soviet submarines, and our surface forces are still unknown to each other. So, oh, I did a couple things wrong in the in the in the last playthrough. Um, yeah, I know. Big surprise. Um, cap. Uh, I put too many aircraft on the uh, Nimitz's uh, cap. You're only allowed three aircraft maximum if you've got one aircraft carrier. Um, you can up that to five aircraft on cap if you got two carriers. And I also did cap a little bit wrong. Cap is not assigned during the uh, strategic air allocation phase. It's actually done during the uh, the active or at the beginning of the activation phase. Um, so, you know, it's, I, I get things wrong. I go back, I learn, I get very, very good input from, from a lot of my viewers who uh, sometimes will point out things I missed or didn't catch or, or what have you. And so I always appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys pointing out things that I'm doing wrong. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into, uh, into turn two. And as I said, uh, well, not as I said. We go into the uh, activity cycle. Um, there is no strategic cycle. That's uh, AM turns only. So we're going into the strategic cycle, which is the cap phase. Um, now, the rules are pretty vague. It just says both players. It, the, there is no indication that, that there's initiative rolled or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll initiative. And we have one. So the Soviets start off first. They've only got one aircraft. Well, they've only got one aircraft carrier, and like I said, it's not even really an aircraft carrier, the Minsk, and it's got uh, a bunch of Yak-36s on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and place them on cap, and then stick the, uh, uh, the cap marker on the task force, so that we know that the Yak-36s are on cap, and for the Nimitz... We've got, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I may not be able to. This crappy camera. Those are all the aircraft that are on the Nimitz. We've got uh, S3 Anti-Submarine Warfare uh, Squadron, uh, EA-6 Electronic Warfare Squadron, uh, an A-6 Attack Squadron, and we've got a uh, P-3, or not in the, a P-3, an E-3 AEW uh, Advanced Early Warning, and we got two F-18 squadrons that are attack craft, and of course, two F-15 squadrons that are the interceptors. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the F-18s, since they are dedicated interceptors, both uh, F-18s, and the advanced early warning craft, and we're going to stick them on cap. Go ahead and stick that there. And then take the cap marker, place it on the Nimitz Force Task Force. Now, I, like, okay, I will say I absolutely love all these on-the-map uh, holding boxes. It just makes the game so much easier to play because you don't have a very messy f field um, of big stacks of counters that can get knocked over and, and, and stuff like that. So I do definitely enjoy that. Uh... So okay, yeah, that's uh, that's that's cap allocation, and then I believe we just jump right into the activation phases. Uh, cap cycle, mine sweeping phase, replenishment phase, advanced game only, and then to the action phase. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start playing. Roll for initiative, and take it from there. Oh wait, oh another thing, the uh, the uh, Tupolev. TU-16s, I, I know you can't really see them, all the way up in Sevastopol. Those guys, yeah, I've been calling them um, bears. They're not bears, they're badgers. The TU-95 
was the bear. The TU-16 was the badger. So I apologize if I confused anybody. Um, and we also have to remember that I do have, where is it? Yep, right here in the Eastern Mediterranean zone. I've still got a, a air, air, uh, aircraft on tactical coordination and the U.S. have still got interceptors flying, F-16 interceptors flying out of Sigonella doing intercept in the Central Med. Not that at this point interception does anything. Interception is pretty much just during the strategic phase. But we've still got a couple of aircraft squadrons running around on uh, uh, up in the strategic air uh, strategic air display that could possibly do something. Well, at least the uh, the the Soviet uh, Tu-16s on tactical coordination. All right, so I've babbled on long enough. Let's go ahead and jump into this and start off the initiative. First activation phase, four, U.S. gets it. Um, you know, the U.S. is going to go with sub. Okay, so let's go ahead and start over here with the Baltimore. Now, we still don't know exactly where the two Soviet surface groups are. I could kind of move close to them, um, but... Their ASW is so high. I think as long as they, as long as a stack has an ASW of four or more, uh, it's real easy for them to spot the subs. <sighs> you know what? I think the Baltimore is going to come up here and assist the drum uh, with those two Soviet submarines. So it's got to move to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she's going to go ahead and fire off her anti-submarine warfare. Her anti-submarine warfare is 9 versus a... Let's take a look at this Soviet sub. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to pretend, pretend how to pronounce it. Um, it's got no uh, surface-to-air missiles, so I'm thinking this is one of the older classes. Yeah, it's got a crappy 18 uh, torpedo, but her anti-submarine warfare is 3. So, let's go ahead and roll her defense. We're looking at a six on the three column, three to five column is a defense of four. Uh, and taking a look at the Baltimore, she's got a much better anti-submarine value of nine. Of course, you can see she's got some surface to, air, uh, surface, to surface missiles. It's got some pretty good torpedoes. You can't really use torpedoes against uh, against subs. You can only use those against surface units. So she's got a attack value of nine versus a defense of four. So it's going to be a nine to fourteen minus four one, which is going to be one two negative three is going to be nothing. Disappointing. U.S. submarines are not performing the way I think they should. Um, so the next one is going to be, look at the drum, as you notice she's almost identical to the Baltimore, I think these are both Los Angeles classes. Uh, she's got an anti-submarine of 9, and the damaged Soviet submarine, she's got an anti-submarine of 3, so that hole almost looks like an Alpha or an Oscar. Been far too long since I've dealt with, uh... Uh, Soviet ship and submarine recognition charts. So if I'm getting those wrong, I apologize. All right, so a defense of three on the Soviet sub is a five, uh, is a negative three, or defense of three, and the uh, drums attack value on the nine to 14 column with the one is gonna be a negative two, which is gonna be nothing. Yeah, the US subs are very, very performing subpar as of so far. Um, we got another submarine way over in the Tyrian Sea zone. We can see this is the Boston, which looks like it's another Los Angeles class attack sub. So what she's going to do, she's going to go after that Soviet submarine that's identified, that's been spotted. Take a look at her real quick. Ooh, this is one of the new advanced Soviet submarines. That's got a defense of six. 
So, roll her defensive on the 6 to 8 column is a 1. That's actually pretty good, so it's only a defense of 2. Attack of a 9 on the 9 column. 6 minus 2 is 4, which is a 3 damage. And I honestly don't think that's going to be enough to damage her. 3 to 7, nope, that's under half. So, she is not damaged. So... Subs hunting other subs, just not working out so well for either side right now. Um, and as the uh, Boston uh, fired its uh, anti-submarine warfare, she is now detected. And I've got another submarine way over in the western mid. It's the Permit, I think. They only give five letters, so I don't recognize it right off the top. So then this isn't a Los Angeles. This looks like one of the older classes. The ASW value isn't as high. So she's got a movement of six right there. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, what else is she going to do? Just keep moving up. Of course, that's probably not in focus. Um, so that is all for the U.S. sub. Flips over to the Soviets. Soviets are going to do sub as well. And we've got these two operating in the eastern mid. One's undamaged. Movement of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we've got the damaged uh, Serizny with a movement of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and what else have we got? We got those two right there. Plus we got those two up there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do these. Um, yeah, each one of them will fire back at uh, we'll do anti-submarine warfare. And one of the annoying, well, I can't really call it annoying because it's realistic. Subs really can't gang up on each other. I, uh, I don't really think. I, I should probably go in and take a look at that. But uh, not really sure. Yeah, up to five units may attack one target, four if air units, one if submarine. So you can't really gang up submarines on other submarines. Um, well, since there's no way to really communicate with other submarines underwater without giving away your position, it's always a one-on-one -on -one fight. So let's go ahead and take the Ivdel with a attack of three versus the Los Angeles with an ASW of nine. Ugh. It's gonna it's gonna have to be a real lucky roll for me to be able to actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it anyways. Uh, so th defense of three, it's a negative three modifier. Attack of three is a zero. It's going to be nothing. So she's shot. Now she's going to go ahead and scoot out of there. And she's got a movement of six. Four, five. Let's try to get over here and screen against the uh, Nimitz coming out of the uh, Sicily, Italy boot. Uh, and then the wounded sub has got a three versus a nine. So attack value or defense value of nine. Uh, is it three modifier? Four minus three is one is one. One damage point, which, you know, I know these subs, yeah, they've got a defense of six, so that's nothing. So she shot. She's going to go ahead and move as well. She's wounded. Wounded. She's damaged. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of give us some more attempts at trying to spot the Nimitz. Um, actually, let's move her there instead. Because I'm pretty sure subs can only do limited, which is the adjacent six. So if the Nimitz moves into here or through here, then, we're, then, then we'll have her spotted. Yeah, we like that idea. All right. Um, up here, let's go ahead and start with the Soviet Big Bad Nasty. She's got an ASW of 6. And the Boston's got an ASW of 9. Okay, so defense of 9 rolls a 3, which is a 3 modifier. 
Attack value of six, one, negative. yeah, that's nothing. Um, she's gonna stay where she's at. And this little sub who has not been spotted yet. That's yeah, an older class sub. She doesn't have surface to surface. We'll stay right there too. Um, Cause again, that'll give her a chance to spot anything that tries to sneak through Sardinia and Tunisia. All right, so that's first activation phase. Second activation phase. Initiative is four, goes to the U.S. Really, the only the only air unit that can do anything is the anti-submarine, uh, the ASW unit that the Nimitz has. It's S, no, it's not the S3 squadron. It's the, yeah, it's the S3 squadron. They can go after an enemy sub, because I haven't spotted any of the, any of the surface fleet, any of the surface ships yet. So any attack aircraft or anything that I have, have no targets. Um, you know what, let's do surface. Let's go ahead and do surface. So, Stark and Thatcher dead, so they're not going to do anything. So let's just go ahead and start way up here in the Western Med. One, two, three, four. And then we've got the Deo. She's got a movement of four. So, one, two. She's going to go ahead and jump into the same. Now, I can't add her to the task force yet. That can only be done during an AM turn. But she's there, and uh, she will be able to be added in at some point so really the only other surface group we have is the Nimitz task force task force 60.2 um, I gotta check I can't remember for subs if you move into their limited or if it's moving uh, from one hex to another. The, the the detection is probably the hardest aspect of this game and there's so many exceptions and sub and surface and have so much ASW or don't have so much ASW. Okay. Action phase. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. At the moment, an enemy surface unit or stack moves directly from one limited or extended detection zone exerted by friendly units into another limited or okay, so that's that. That's satellite submarines. If an enemy submarine moves from one limited detection zone exerted by a friendly unit with a combined ASW of four. Okay. So, uh, it looks like I do have to move from one uh, hex to another. So, basically explaining that. Because, um, yeah, we're right here with the Nimitz. Okay, so we spend the first movement point which puts us in the uh, extended or the limited detection zone of this submarine, but they're not detected yet. As soon as I spin the second movement point or the second hex in their detection zone, then I'll become detected. Now, I, if I wanted to, I could probably do something gamey like go to here and then three, four, you know, try to skirt them. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Why give myself away? yet and I'm not I don't need to rush into the agency zone I've got several turns yeah so we're gonna go one two three four and we're gonna keep her there much to the chagrin yeah probably I should have been paying better attention I should have moved him into that hex if I had the movement I should have moved him into there there Although I think that was... Yeah, I could have. He was going to move him to six or seven. I only moved him like what, one, two, three, five hexes. All right, so bad play on the Soviets' part. Keep that in mind for next time. Because that also means... As we flip into activation three, which the Soviets only have air left, they still have no targets. So roll for uh, third activation. Or no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was uh, turn activation two for U.S. Uh, half. Okay, two goes, flips back to the U.S. 
The U.S. has air. Um, the only thing they have is the their, their, that ASW squadron off the uh, off the Nimitz. So you know what? Let's go after the wounded submarine right there. Her defense is a three. Her ASW defense is a three. Rolled a one. It is a one col or one modifier. And the attack value is a three, which is a three. Minus one is a two on the three column, which is a one, which is not going to be enough. Nope, not at all. Okay. And then... Third activation. I think I may have messed something up. Second activation, because I haven't done Soviet surface yet. Well, all right, so yeah, I messed that up. I, I should probably pull out my notepad and mark down which activations are doing. We'll do that next turn, boys and girls. All right, um, so basically we've got uh, Soviet air and surface left. Um, and because I mucked it up and we're hitting, coming close to the 25 minute mark, which is when the camera will go ahead and cut out. So let's go ahead and move uh, the uh, Kirov battle group. One, two, three, four. And you know what? We know that submarine is there. One, two, three, four. That puts us right adjacent to the Baltimore. We know she's there, so we're going sub hunting. Um, so going sub hunting. Okay, taking a look at, and I keep forgetting about my great little combat summary chart right here. So we have ASW combat, the attacker, uh, active submarine surface units or air units may attack any and all detected submarines individually in a target hex with ASW value. Attacking submarine or surface units must be adjacent to the target. Attack not allowed across an all-land hex side. Attacking air units must be stacked in the same hex as the target. Up to five units may attack one target, four if air units, one if submarine. Uh, one Plus one for each dice roll, tactical coordination. And I have a feeling my tactical coordination in the Eastern Med is not going to be wasted because there's no U.S. anything in the Eastern Med. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to pause real quick uh, and start up the, because since I am getting close to the 25-minute uh, mark, uh, I will be right back. And we're back like nothing even happened. All right, so... The Minsk battle group is going after... The Baltimore, and yeah, I'm not even gonna try to jack the camera around that way. Let's just, and I can select up to what did it say? Five units, and hey, what do you know? There are five units in the men's battle group. So let's go ahead and take a look at the anti-submarine value of all of them. We've got eight, twelve. 15, 23, 25. All right, so we've got an anti-submarine value of 25, which is actually a lot better than the, uh, you know, the submarines have been working. Uh, and the Baltimore's defense is a 9. All right, ah, six crap. Um, on the 9 column is a defense of 5. And we had a 21 to 27 column with a minus 5. Well, that's annoying. That was going to give us a good shot at actually damaging it. I don't think we're going to get it this time. Uh, 2 minus 5 is a negative 3. It's a 1 damage point, which is nothing. All right, so the U.S. sub got lucky. The commander of the... Uh, uh, the Baltimore actually knew that the Minsk was coming and picked up her sonar buoys landing and managed to go deep, well, as deep as she can in the shallow waters of the Med. Um, however, unfortunately, that now does mean that that battle group is now detected. I have a feeling next turn we're going to start seeing some shit getting shot at. Um, okay, so that's the surface, uh, Soviet surface, and then air. Honestly, the only thing they've got that can do anything are those badgers. 
out of Sevastopol, way up there, and they've got no surface targets to shoot at. They don't know where the Nimitz or the Jersey battle groups are at still, and so that means I can't strike with them, and they can't do any anti-submarine warfare. So that's it. That's turn two. Nice, quick, simple, and easy. Jockeying for position. Soviets had a shot at uh, knocking out a sub, but the uh, sub commander managed to uh, skillfully dodge their attacks, and so uh, I have a feeling that the... Uh, the Minsk battle group is going to get shot at next turn. Of course, we're moving into a night turn. Um, oh, uh, the final thing for the phase, all cap comes down. Uh, we pull the cap off the Nimitz and off the Minsk. And that's it. That's turn two. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comments section. And I will see everybody later.